Hello, hello there, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, it's like a holiday. It's Wednesday. It is a full warm moon. It is, we are, we are counting down to retrograde being over, which is on the 29th. And it is the spring equinox, you guys. So, so I hope that you've got an opportunity to go outside and sweep your porch. Um, sweeping your porch really does attract positive energy into your home. Remember that the door is the portal to the home, right? So if you're into, the, into feng shui, then you know that it's super important to keep that front door clutter free clear free clean all those wonderful things so go outside with a broom and sweep off your front porch under this awesome awesome powerful full moon my friends we have two more journals to go into the shop today these are our 25 dollar journals now remember these are like a special introductory price and what is what is is still left in my shop after Friday is going into um, the retail store that I work with. So, um, and thank you guys for purchasing them again. I really do appreciate that. Um, these books have come together because um, I believe it was Miss Kathy gave me some book board. And let me just show you kind of what it was like. Um, it was like a, a five by seven board, but it had this really nice backing on it as well. So that we are at the end of these and I will need to get into my drawer of storage things and see if I have anything uh, left uh, book board wise. So, you know, I know that you guys know this already, but I work with what I have. And, you know, a lot of times it's like an episode of Chopped on the Food Network. It'll be like <laughs> random bits of this and that. And then I try and put it together into something beautiful for you guys. So we've got two of these butterfly journals today. This one says a second look. And I thought that that was just, uh, you know, it's just an interesting three words, isn't it? Because sometimes we do have to take a second look before we, you know, our, our initial impression of something is, is often, um, you know, maybe something that, hang on, I'm trying to get this a little bit bigger here. I don't know if we're going to get it or not. It's not going to let me hang on. There we go. Just a little bit bigger. Um, our first initial impression is often, you know, a, our gut impression. And sometimes when you do take a second look at things, then th th something may appear in a whole different way to you. So let's go through these. Of course, we have three signatures in, in these little books. This one definitely had a celestial kind of uh, tone to it because I am, I am running out of this 110 uh, pound buff smooth finish uh, paper that my friend gave me when they were cleaning out some offices. So I'm kind of running out of that. And so I supplemented with this, uh, this paper from this awesome paper pack. So you'll, you'll see that um, coming through here. So let's just go through, of course, we have collage pages. This is an example of the a page that I used from the, um, gosh, I wish I knew the name of that. I don't know the name of the paper pad, but Michael's had it for five bucks and it was like, <gasps> it was so cool. So I've got a few little fairies. Now you'll see there's a little smudge right there on these fairies. Again, my friend Judy gave me these. She's a stamp. She is a craft. She is a card maker. So, you know, just little crafty bits like that that would have ended up in someone's trash can. So you can rehome them, repurpose them, um, make them loved and not an orphan anymore. <laughs> this is a... Uh, I saw some people doing things like this, but they called them vintage clusters. Now, I don't know if that's a term or a thing now, but um, I thought, well, that's interesting. You know, maybe maybe that's something that we should add as a tag when we do our loose leaf loosies, because I know that a lot of people really don't understand that. But we understand it, don't we? We know exactly where that came from. This is a belly band that says make your own magic. Now, let me tell you about this super cool little belly band here. So... 
you've got um, a, a wee little tuck spot here, okay? And then you've got the initial, the belly band under here. But if you, um, if you take the button off, you know, it's just secured with a brad, you've got another secret squirrel tuck spot right here. Mm -hmm. I like those secret squirrel tuck spots. They're fun. Put your secrets in there or your wishes or your desires or what you've recently manifested, that sort of thing. So we did, we have some stamping. We have a little bit of stenciling, really pretty papers in this. Um, I, I love the, I just love to um, do collage. You know, my uncle who passed away when he was 29, um, that's, that was his expertise. You know, he did collage. And so when I sit down to do, you've got a wee little tuck spot right here and one under the belly band and a belly band right here. When I sit down to do a collage piece, I always think about him. And uh, he was just like totally masterful at doing things like that. You've got a little tuck spot right here. My other uncle, my half uncle, um, my dad's brother from a different mother is a potter. He's the potter Michael Sherrill, and he is, he's a world famous guy, but really nice. My auntie, uh, was a crafter. She liked to make quilts and things like that. She could make anything out of anything. She was amazing. Um, so we've got a uh, little tuck spots here. This is the 1880s ledger that we've been working with for a while now. This is a vintage greeting card. It says to cheer you. Again, another little tiny secret squirrels tuck spot right here. I really do like the, um, I really, really do like the ring bound thing, you guys. I can't believe it took me so long to you know, to do a ring bound journal, but now it makes me really want to create one of my own to keep because I really like the arrangement and I like the way that the book lies flat. You know, I can just see it on a, you know, on your desk. Maybe you want to make this a book of positive aspects. You know, maybe, maybe your life is gets a, a wee confusing sometimes and you just have to remind yourself of the positive aspects and make lists and lists of things that are, are right in your life and the, the wonderful things, the wonderful blessings that you have and the sweet, sweet things that appear in your life just like out of nowhere. It's really incredible. This is another vintage green reading card right here. It's got a note on the back. I think these are from 1940s-ish. And there we go. That's the end of that little book. Uh, we'll call her a second look. This one, the word enjoy, just wanted to jump on here and take a little rod. So the name of this one is enjoy. And um, I really do like the pops of yellow that we got on here. And, of course, the, uh, the crackle, crackle um, technique, not crackle paint, but I crackled this. All right, another little thing to point out to you. The, there are a couple smudges right here. Okay, again, we, we're recycling things. We're keeping it out of the trash. We're keeping it out of the landfill. Sometimes it's not perfect, but it still needs to be loved. We, we are none of us perfect, but we still need love. Got a little, um, I love this. I think it's so cool. Uh, a little vintage note card right there. It's almost like a calling card. I really do love the size of it. So we've got collage pages, stamped pages. There's a belly band right here with a, we'll just call that a vintage cluster since that seems to be, <laughs> to be the thing now. I think I'm going to make me a, some bigger vintage clusters. I kind of got that idea. Uh, a little mushroom for you to color. Um, a beautiful little piece of paper for you to play around with in that pocket. A little tuck spot right here. A vintage cluster tuck spot. I love that stamp. That's a fun one right there. We've got a little tuck spot here and one right under here. Look at all the layers on that. That was so much fun to do. I love layers. I think layers are so interesting. They make everything fun. And uh, I think this is, yeah, this is a, uh, a vintage postcard, 1993. Um, 
the Department of Medicine at Hartford Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. Apparently, when uh, their staff went on holiday, um, they would send a postcard back to so you can see where it was taped to like a board or the wall or whatever. Um, I love things like that. So, you know, what a super cool historical piece there. And we are at the end of this little book. Okay, you guys, there we go. Two little books. One says enjoy. The other says take a second look. Thanks again, you guys, for supporting my shop. Thank you guys for contributing to my Kickstarter. Woohoo! That was fun to see today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys soon. I've got some, um, some actual process videos to record for you guys tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Have a lovely Woden's Day. Have a lovely full moon. Have a lovely spring equinox. And yes, that retrograde is going to end on the 29th. Yay! See you soon, y'all. Bye.